Alright there procrastinauts, my name's Paborian and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we were here, we did our first unmanned mission and our first Muna mission, no less. It was pretty damn good. I didn't think it was going to work, but we managed to pull it off. Today's mission, I think, is going to be a manned moon mission. No idea how I'm going to go about this because I still don't have enough parts thanks to the really, really, really gay setup at the research tree, so... That's going to be all the fun, but luckily for us, if I go back to here to refresh my memory, last time we are here, we unlocked struts and launch clips and big couplers and tricoupler thingy my doodars. Can't be bad, that's certainly going to help us. We've still not got the fuel line stuff though, but that will have to wait. Um, I wouldn't mind some bigger rocket pieces as well, but that will also have to wait. Never mind, let's get off this and go ahead and go straight into the VAB. Now, I'm going to have to work this one out, so we need our return capsule, obviously. We need a couple of these science bins, because I'm going to be taking a lot of science with us today to the moon. There we go, that should do that. Uh, right, now, next thing we need... Well, that's a bit weird. <laughs> Never seen that one happen before. But uh, let's ignore it, let's carry on. Now, I've been told that these pods actually have a heat shield on. Yeah, I've been paying attention to the comment section and I've been writing quite a lot of comments in there myself. Um, people have been saying that these pods have the heat shield on them. Now, when I've been re-entering, I've never seen, like if I were to put this on, when we go through the atmosphere, this comes up with like ablative shielding. This doesn't have such a, f oh no it does, 250. Um, also 250, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead with that. Ah, well, it looks like you were right, guys. Congratulations. So, that will just be our return pod now. Obviously, we need to work out getting back from the moon. So, probably something about that size with that kind of engine on. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, landing on the moon. Obviously, we're not going to use this. That needs to be just primarily getting us back. I mean, I think it should do it. I hope it'll do it. I don't want to lose a kernel on this. Uh, right, we're going to need... Some, f nah, they're a bit too big. Some smaller side couplers. Yeah, we'll get some of these bad boys on. And we're going to get... Some landing tanks. Some good landing tanks. Right, okay, these will do for landing tanks because as well as them, on top of them, I'm also going to have these. Rotate them so they're facing outwards. Perfect. And we'll cap them off with some nipple noses. Perfect. Uh, right, same thing again. We're going to put some small engines on the bottom. And to wrap it all off, we're going to put some legs. And I think this should be a decent enough landing craft. At least I hope so, anyway. Yeah, there, on symmetry, going to that. Let's double check. Nice. And to wrap it all up like a Christmas Day gift. We're going to put some struts. I can't believe we finally unlocked these. I can't believe it took us so long to do. What an absolute ball baggery. It's rude if you ask me. Right, so. Let's check the staging of this nonsense. I'm moving my energy drink out of the way. Because I've got one of them for this episode today. It's always fun. So, thrust, split, thrust, split, go. Perfect. Can't complain at that. So, next stage. I'm going to throw on a decoupler. And... Now I could do with some sort of spacer, but I don't think I have any instructions. Yeah, I do. It's a bit big, though. Uh, it is a bit big, but I suppose it'll have to do. Next off, we're going to make this all nice and pretty with some... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll use this one, maybe? Yeah, that perfectly fits on there, so conic fairings. Put a couple of them, and boosh, done. Alright, nice. So that should be the top of our rockets. Hopefully that will be able to get us to land on the moon and get us back. I hope. I really do hope. I probably need some sort of, like, structural, like, integrity thing going on here. So let's get some more struts. So on dual symmetry, we'll go from here to here. Here to here. Right, hang on, this isn't right here, so that needs to go in its own stage and goes under there. So that's there, and that's there, done. Right, let's put the fairings back on, they deserve to go back on now. <sighs> I 
Nice. All right, so what's next? Next, we need our actual burn to the moon stage and potentially slow us down. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for the same sort of setup as we had on the SS short end of the deck. Like that. That should get us there. And from here downwards, this is where it's going to get a little bit different to previous craft designs. We're going to go like that. Oh, God. What the hell is, what the hell is going on here? This isn't right. This is not right. Right, okay. You, in a stage on your own, go down here. So what have we got here? We've got... Not that, so... Stage all on your own, along with the fairings, you pair can go in there and we will go there. So split, split, done. Fire, split. Yeah, okay, right. So, no, right, with this and done, let's go ahead and move on to the actual launching stage of this rocket. It's getting a bit tall now, and I can see that it's starting to increase in price, but we've got so much money, it's unreal. We've got plenty of money to go around. And I'm happy with it. that kind of thrust on it. Yeah, let's go. Oh, God damn it. I mean, at least I'm keeping on top of this now, before it all goes all pitong. That's the last thing I want. I mean, it all go wrong during the launch stages, but I'm going to get some big ass decouplers on it, because this is going to be a heavy stack of fuel tanks, this is. I'm going to have the same again on the outside, I think. Except so this one is going to have the bigger thrusters on it. And to top it all off, we're going to have some nipple nose cones. Perfect. Right, I believe there, that is one decently set up craft. Oh, you know what? No, it isn't. We're not quite done with this yet. There are a few things I do need to put in this craft, and it's not quite done yet so I do need to take it apart a little bit now. I also might need to do something about these tanks here so we'll add some Sepatrons there so uh, let's, let's check this. No! In the wrong stage. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and save this now just in case I mess it all up so alright you lot you need to come off of there and right how am I going to do this now? I suppose what I can do is yeah, I'll, I'll move all this off, move you over there for now. Right, I'm going to show you guys another one of the little mods that I don't think I've had a chance to showcase yet. The Universal Storage mod. Oh, that reminds me actually, speaking of which, uh, if you guys want a mod list, by the time this episode comes out on Thursday the... Uh, oh, I don't know the day. It's, it's next Thursday, basically. By, by the time this video comes out, you should be able to see descriptions in the uh, vid comment, uh, not in the comment section, in the description below of links to my old forum thread where we used to have the KSP you know, procrastinate discussion thread set up. And basically, I, I can't believe I actually found that thread. It's still there on the forums all the way back from back 2012. So I basically just resurrected it and started like showcasing the series in there. Now, one of the things I have yet to do is comprise a mod list, but as soon as I've done recording this batch of episodes, I think I'm going to go sort that out. Can't be too bad, but this isn't going... Fucking get on there! God damn it! Back up. Oh. oh my god! Oh, come on. This is just stupid. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right, and one more. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we almost had it. This is bullshit. Why are things so hard? That's what she said joke. I'm sure there's other, that's what she said joke right there. Right, nice. So, okay, so open all these up. Open. 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 So I still haven't explained what it is I'm, I'm trying to achieve here. Basically, this is going to be my life support system right at the bottom. So we're going to have, well, first things first, we're going to have, I think we'll have that this side. Um, first, we're going to have a waste can. Uh, if I can go ahead and do that with it. And put a small waste can in there. That will take care of our shit, dirty lung air, and piss. I like that. And to top it all off, to make the things even easier, if that tank should get full, which I really don't think it will on this trip to the moon, then I've also got this, a Clocky Martian smart part, to dump all of this piss shit and dirty long air all outside the craft into space. Efficient? I think so. So what else do we need? We need um, a metric fuck ton of batteries, actually, now that I think about it. Um, now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put some in here. 
No, I'm not going to put any in there. What I need is some food and some water. Uh, let's see. Oxygen small. Yeah, I'm down with that. So we'll put you in there. And... I don't remember O2 being yellow. Maybe that's a, that's, maybe that's a change that I've not noticed. So, it's cans. so food and... Food and air, and we also need some water because we can't go without water. Drinking water, drinking water, small, perfect, perfect. And last but not least, I think what we'll do to equalize this out a bit what have we got here? Oxygen tank. Nah. Um, what else can I put over here? It's got to be something I can put over here. Maybe an internal camera. I don't know, just something. I don't know what though. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll add a couple of ba I'll add a battery in because I just need something to go in there. So we're going to close all these bay doors and that's our last port module sorted. Um, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could put the bins in there and bring this thing back, but I don't know how heavy it'll be on the way down, so I'd like to avoid that if possible. I mean, like that's got to be good enough. Should be fine. Now, what I am going to do as well is I'm going to take these, double them up. One, two... That short. I'll throw it a couple on. Two. One. Two. That should be sorted for power. I'm happy with that. So, what we'll do is put the fairings back on. That's all strut together. That's all strut down there. And um, the rest of the rocket is going to need some sort of struts as well. Um, one part that I have forget, forgot to strut in this instance is this. Gimbling engines equals shaky rockets. Oh, go, go away. Yeah, gimbling rockets equals shaky engines equals destruction of rockets. Not cool, man. And I think for the last, the final part, we're going to add some sectrons. Just to help with this thing boost itself away from the rocket if needs be. Oh, and it's actually gone to the right stage. Top banana. Okay. That way, and... That way, that should just go boom off the rocket. Ah, I'm not set up correctly, Ali. I need to go one back. Yeah, there we go. That should do that nicely. Oh, man. Right, so we have one finished rocket. That took a while to build that day, longer than I hoped. Oh, actually, no. We're not, still not done. We need more struts. Because we've got these, I'm going to abuse the living shit out of them. So, as many as I can. As many as I can to secure this nonsense that I've got going ahead in front of me here, so... Whew. Right, okay. That should do the trick. Now, because I've not got fuel lines, I'm relying on this rocket doing some magical shit here. Because these are bigger engines, I'm hoping these will run out before them. I mean, if I'm truly honest, I could probably take these all down to like... 70... Yeah, I suppose 75.5 will do it. I don't, I don't suppose it matters the rest of the same, yeah. And there's no what sort of action group I can have to do a thrust limit on these so I can change it when they ditch. No matter. We'll stick with it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and save this craft. Give it a name. What do I call this thing? It's a work of art. It's not just a work of art. It's a work of dick fart. Nice. Can't be good. Can't be bad. SS Dick Fart. Who's the pilot for this today? Um, Jebediah Kerman. I, I wouldn't mind using a new astronaut, but at the same time, these guys are going to be saved. These are, these are support astronauts. Until I need to start hiring more when we start doing bigger, badder missions. But for now, we're just going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and launch. Probably should have used launch clips because of the size of this rocket. I'm hoping it just doesn't explode on its thrusters first chance that it gets. I'm hoping not anyway. Anytime you're ready. Anytime you're ready, game. My computer is doing some bullshit today, man. I swear to God. Can't tell you what the crack is. No idea. Hmm. You know what? I'm moderately happy with the location of that there, so... Let's double check. All thrusters are set to go. Sepatrons. There, so oh, no, I didn't set that. That's the the ship valve. That is. Nah, never mind. Let's go. Sass on. Thrust up. Three, two, one, go. Right, so 
the trick is I'm going to have to keep this as nice and steady and as nice and slow as possible. I'll bring this back down so I can keep an eye on the thrusters. Yeah, there's, the, outer, the outer boosters are certainly doing a job now. They're burning down much quicker than the central stack. Hopefully this should, should give us some quite good speed. And then, as soon as we get to 100, I've been be, I have been reading the comment section. Somebody told me once we, do, we get to 100 meters per second, start doing your gravity turn. But I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's a thing I should be doing. I really don't. Because I've seen rockets like flip around, and do all sorts of shit, and this thing's expensive. This thing's mega expensive. Let's see if I can keep this nice and like behind. Oh, it's, it's doing some shaky, shaky. I didn't include a SAS module. I really should have done. Hold yourself, man. All right, six thousand meters. To go down that mark a little bit. I mean, I can feel it like fighting me. I'm trying to get it to go down without it flipping. Right, slow the fuck down a bit, here, mate. And uh, yeah, I can feel it. I'm, I'm gonna have to like get that prograde marker to chase me a little bit. It's gonna be another high orbit by the looks of things. Unless I can do this, slow down. Right, yeah, we're starting to lose control a little bit here. I'm, I'm not even doing this for the most part. Let's try and keep it under control. 15,000 meters. Once we get out of this atmosphere a little bit, it should be okay. 20,000 meters. Right, okay, we are starting to slip, but I am I am just going to let it go for as far as I can. What? Bring this under control, thrust up as high as I can. No, 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 no. Um, right, flip faster, 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 flip faster, flip faster, flip faster, flip faster, flip faster, flip faster. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, and... Boom. Oh, no, I'm going to have to go. Oh no, what's going on here? Uh, we're losing some serious speed here, and this is an expensive piece of kit that I'm wasting! Uh, okay, keep it under control, keep it under control. We're, we're holding it, nice. Whew. Fucking hell. Not impressed, take a swig of me drink. I need to figure out how to do that properly. That's because of gravity turned far too early, man. 100 meters up per second, my fucking arse. Bulldog energy buzz baby. Can't be bad. Tastes well nice.